Alright, so this is going to be a real quick, real quick video on how to run your vacuum lines for the turbo. Because that's something I didn't show when I was putting this thing together. It's real simple. Check this out. Alright, so you got the uh, wastegate. Now, one of the things that take vacuum. My wastegate has two ports. One at the top, one at the bottom. When I first started doing this, someone told me that the top one is usually used for a boost controller. And the bottom one is used for vacuum. My turbo has a vacuum port coming off of it, so all I did was run that vacuum straight down to the turbo port. If that wasn't there, I could have ran this hose all the way back to right here and put a T on it. So if you put a T on it, this is where the fuel pressure regulator go. If you was to T it, it'll be a T, it'll be coming straight across into the fuel pressure regulator. And the leg of the T will be the vacuum hose that runs down back into the uh, wastegate. The other thing you have that needs vacuum is the blow-off valve. Another thing, um, blow-off valve. This is the uh, vacuum hose on the blow-off valve. It's real long. I just ran it through the back of the block. Bear with me. I'm going to walk right back over there. And it's coming to this T right here as you can see so I have another T this is coming this one is coming from the intake manifold that's sucking this is going to the uh, blow off valve because I have a uh, uh, boost gauge this one is going to the boost gauge but if you don't have a boost gauge then you don't need a T you just need like an L so minus this one it'll look like this you get an L fitting that'll run it back to the um, blow off valve and then it an L into the intake manifold. And that's it. Other than that, uh, those are the only two extra vacuum lines that I ran. Everything else is stock. You know, this one goes for the uh, fuel pressure regulator. This big one I unplugged so we can get a, cute, a clear view of what's going on. But that's just for the um, uh, 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 the brake booster. So, um, everything else is original. So, you really don't need to run two vacuum lines for the wastegate over here and then a blow off valve over there. And that's it. So, either you're going to use an L fitting or a T fitting. So, I hope that helps out. And that's probably the easiest part of running a turbo. So, uh, stay tuned and I'll let y'all know once again what's going on with this thing because at the moment, it do not want to fire up, but um, that's another story.